Hello everyone, this is Dr. Govind Rai Garg and uh, I am very happy to introduce you to Dr. Jaswini. Hello Jaswini. Hello sir. Dr. Jaswini has scored rank 50 in a recent INACT exam and uh, we are very proud of her. Uh, Jaswini, please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jaswini Bali. I am a student from Mulana Zad Medical College 2018 batch. And uh, this was your first attempt? Yes sir, this was my first attempt. Great. First of all, heartiest congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, now we will want that uh, you can guide our students that uh, how you can go about the studies and uh, they can improve on their ranks. So it will be better if you start from your journey. How did you study right from the beginning and uh, how sincerely, uh, specifically for INICT or NEET PG when you started the studies? So, sir, I was an okay student throughout college because I was a day scholar, so I did not like I used to prefer reading and I was studious only. From the beginning, I did all the standard textbooks and yeah. like that. But initially, I was uh, not very serious about doing NEET or INICT. I was looking at other options like MLE. So I started my preparation specifically for this exam very late. So that is one thing I would like to tell others that um, be sure and be, start early. Start your preparation early because I regretted that later. So during COVID, it was a little difficult because... There was not regular teaching which was going on, but we gradually covered our courses. And uh, by the time I reached internship, I had a very uh, heavy patch in the beginning. The first six months were very tough. So I could not uh, revise properly. I had made my notes and I had those big uh, main course notes. But by the time those six months were over and I had finally decided that I want to do Indian PG uh, INI. So then I realized that it is not possible for me to revise all of that because I had just six months. So by the time I reached October, one of my juniors only told me that, ma'am, it was BTR. Hota hai. So he just shared that with me. And tab I did not know. I think it was new for me also. I had no idea. So I used the app. And uh, that was when I thought ki, yeah, this is a very good resource for me because I found that everything was integrated into very short videos, which was good for my uh, preparation time for six months. So I started following that only and uh, towards the end, I supplemented that with previous year topics and PYQs specifically for INI because we know that in INI pre and paraclinical are, uh, they have a lot of weightage. So that is what I try to do, sir. Great. That's great. And how many time you revised the BTR? Sir, by the time I did my first, like everything, notation and all, it was already around, I would say around Jan January. But in the last one and a half months, I revised it at least three times. In the last 10 days, I was able to revise the entire syllabus because of BTR only. Because I had that one source. That's it. That's it. And uh, Jaswini, I will want you to, you should guide our students. Uh, how much weightage should be given to the theory part? And uh, how much MCQ should be solved? And uh, how many GTs should be given? Sir, I think initially when we're just starting, so we can give... A GT every two weeks or maybe, I don't know, two weeks I think is fine because that gives us a baseline that this is how we're doing. But once we have started doing our theory and once we started revising, so it is better to increase the frequency to maximum, I think, once per week because that way you are able to cover those topics where you're lagging. Once your revision is done, then you know 80, 90% of the things, but some things you'll still keep forgetting. And that is where I think GTs and uh, these questions help you to cover those specific topics. So uh, once a week or maybe once in two weeks. So mm -hmm. as the exam approaches, it should be around once a week. And initially you can give 15 days, maybe 20 days. Yes. One. And uh, how do you uh, analyze your GTs? Uh, many times you get score lesser scores also. Yes, and sir. sometimes you get a very good score also. So how do you go about after giving the GT? So like after I gave the GT, I used to look first at the uh, the things that I did incorrect. I'm, I used to make a notebook where I would put the things which I did not know. But the jubil, the bilkul new information tha, that used to go in one column. One column was which I knew, but matlab, mujhe utna, the concepts were not clear. And some were things which were very volatile. Ki ye toh, I will keep forgetting. So I use that three column strategy. And uh, uske baad, I used to look at some questions which I gave the correct answer, but I did not know ki isme or matlab, there was some doubt in my some mind. Some information or maybe some guess. Yes, sir. So that is how I, I would go about it. 
great students please note it down that uh, you don't need to only give gta's but also you need to make a separate copy and uh, particularly the questions which you are making incorrect uh, or uh, you are likely to forget the information please write down in that copy and keep on studying that copy again and again uh, so that you can uh, improve upon your uh, weak concepts and the forgettable things Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, just one more thing, uh, uh, this question I already asked also that uh, how much time a student daily give on theory part and how much on MCQ solving. I to followed what Zainab ma'am gave us. The hmm. uh, three three hours. I mean, it depends on uh, what you are able to do. So I used to devote at least I would say four or five hours to doing my theory, okay. and then one hour for my like for my custom. Then okay. for PYQs, I would give one hour. Okay. So that is what I would address. I would just revise old topics, and that would include theory only. Great, great. And uh, how much is the importance of PYQs? PYQs are important because when you come towards the end, you realize that you don't have time to do everything. Initially, we think that we will do everything, and we will be able to do it. But these PYQs and pre previous topics are just a guiding uh, point for us to know that we have to focus on this more. and on other topics not that much because time is the limiting factor in these exams definitely it's uh, absolutely right or just any anything more you will uh, like to tell our viewers so that uh, they can get some extra point from your side sir uh, the only thing that i learned from my journey was not to look go for many things i did that in the beginning Uh, that fear of missing out that i have to do this also and that also and everybody saying follow this resource that i think you just take one resource and follow it to the max so if you keep doing that again and again you will definitely get a good result excellent message i also keep on saying curve your fomo fomo will not take you anywhere so just believe whatever you have and uh, 100% uh, get devoted to that source and every source is good just uh, keep on following that believe yourself keep studying and uh, keep giving gts and plus uh, revise as much as you can so definitely you will get a good rank like ajaswini uh, so ajaswini uh, heartiest congratulations again and uh, which branch you are uh, likely to opt for sir i think pediatrics pediatrics okay great and you will get uh, in delhi chances hain most likely i'll get uh, will you give neat also sir i will give need because like, you can never be sure about ah, nahi chahiye ha okay. chalo all the best uh, ajaswini mm -hmm. and uh, heartiest congratulations to you as well as your parents also thank you so thank much